Shalom everyone, Joshua here, and welcome to my first ever major electronic DIY repair. So I scored this 46 inch Samsung from an ad online for free, and it is having backlight troubles where the CCFL tubes that were used for this model are not heating up and lighting up quickly. And let's see if I can show you all that. Hit the power button on the mountain trailer. And no picture right away. Now, I have no idea what really causes that. However, of course, doing some online researching, there were a couple different uh, possibilities from either capacitors or carbon buildup on the fluorescent tube connectors. So these are the connectors for the high voltage that is required to power a cold cathode fluorescent lamp or CCFL. And that, or those I should say, came from an identical television to this that was given to me previously that built that altar right there, which is pretty nifty. However, since I have these parts and this television is not functioning properly, I figured why not give it a shot? As you can see, it still hasn't come on yet. Uh, but why not give it a shot and see if it is a repairable thing? So, tag along with me and I'll uh, get this all torn apart. Of course, I'm not going to go over every step by step. I'll just show you all different portions of the video. Uh, sorry, of the breakdown or teardown of the television. Um, but other than that, it's just going to be get to the point of getting to these pretty much powering this thing up and seeing what happens. All right, get back with y'all here directly. And step one complete, got the back cover off. Here you go, peeps. This is what it looks like behind this older Samsung television. And I have placed the boards from the first television next to their corresponding counterparts. Bam, check it out. Now, here's a unique thing, is that this television, the original one, came from a home that uses wood stove heat. And you can see there's a bunch of discoloration. They do get it pretty, pretty hot in their home during the winter months. And I think that helped create some excess of heat that caused that discoloration there because this one comes from a home that uses a standard HVAC with a heat pump and whatnot. And you can see it is mo cleaner. Look at all that. It is way mo cleaner. Now, I don't know, maybe somebody at Samsung was, uh, or is a football fan, but they definitely have Arsenal Chelsea right there. Now, the TV that I'm trying to repair was manufactured in April, or on April 9th of 2009. And the original one here, boom, 1222 of 2008. So these televisions were manufactured a few months apart. And as you can see, this here, and this one over here, those are the connections for the CCFL tubes, which are on the other side of this chassis. Now I will go ahead and disassemble a few more bits and bobs to get the LCD screen out and remove the various uh, layers, the diffusion layers and stuff, and expose the C. CFL tubes. Actually, let me rephrase that. I'm going to start by pulling this cover and seeing if there's any kind of damage on this particular board. And then I will get to that. So once I get that cover off, I'll show you all what I'm working with. So I got the cover off and nothing stood out as far as anything looking damaged or burn up or anything. And there you have it. The CCFL tubes. Boom. Now, I have it plugged in. You can see right there, little red light. I will hit power. 
Let's see what goes down, peeps. Now generally, they should be hotting up pretty quick like, but definitely not hotting up pretty quick. Not even sure what to look for because, you know, went down all these connections and I didn't saw nothing that made me be questioning, well, this is might be why. So, I don't know. Very strange. Suppose I must flip it over and do some probing to see what's going on. But I'll update y'all if I find anything. Well, 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 peeps. By the grace of Haya, I tell you what. I think I have determined what the problem is. So when it all kicked on and the fluorescence finally did start lighting up, as you can see, that's the flickering back there because they use a uh, PWM style power. Um, anywho, I was just listening real intently. I was running some voltage down the board here and it was just really weird getting some really funky figures when lo and behold, I was putting my ear up close to it and found out, bam. Look at that. So if I wiggle that, it causes bam. So whatever this little doohickey is, it's soldering or maybe the guts of it are uh, just deteriorating. And I'm hoping that one from this board in the cleaner section might work. So next mission pop this off and first of all just see if i can solder it tight again and maybe that'll fix the issue or uh just replace it i'll return when i figure out one thing or another well here we go peeps let's see if i can safely remove this little bugger right here i've never done this before and so uh i have no idea what i'm doing um, it seems to be maybe this one and this one. Okay, so it's these two right here. And supposedly, I should just be able to put some solder on the end of the gun here. Give a little boo-boo here. And unsolder that side. And then give it a little boo-boo here all right it's not booping very well maybe a little dash more there you go wants to come out of there almost oh there you go and that is officially removed. Cool. Now, let's see about inserting it in the other one. I shall return momentarily. All right, back at it. Just gonna try and remove this other one right quick. Maybe get a little bit of the goods on there. Now, of course, got to be extremely careful because this one was definitely live and there are some capacitors that I don't want to be messing with so danger Will Robinson danger Knock some of that off there. Come on, baby. All right. So now that one is removed. Don't know what the fiddles is to cause it to go bad or act up or what. I don't know. 
see if I can clean the circuit board up because I have to get the other one through there. Uh oh. Well, I have encountered a slight dilemma here. I don't know if I'm going to manage to get the holes back open, peeps. Uh oh. Um, maybe it'll be just a case of trying to poke it through. At the same time, I don't know. So let me fiddle with that and uh, make sure these are somewhat cleaned up. So that way it might squeak in there. All right. So I have the old one from the original television inserted into this slot. Now it's time to see if I can get it to actually reseat in there. Get a little bit more go juice for that one. And I believe, just like that, folk, that little mammer jammer is going to be good to go. All right, well, now it's time to put the television back together and get it turned on and see what happens. I'll catch y'all directly. Okay, so with everything plugged in now, let's see if it works. And wah, 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 wah. It was a fail. So, something is real finicky with this. Don't know what it is, because you can see the lights flashing. So, it's a connection somewhere on here, or underneath it, or something. I don't know exactly, but I'm going to probe around and see if there's some measure I can take to just, I don't know, get this to sit in a certain position that makes it work. Mo better? I don't know. Maybe I can wedge something between the heat sink and it. But it obviously impacts the backlighting. So, there you go. There is that. I'm going to keep on getting at it and see what I can determine. Catch y'all soon. Okay, since the old television didn't have a backlighting problem, it had an LCD problem, LCD display problem. What happens when I just swap the board? Boop. Do, 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 do. Whoa, hey, check that out. It came on next to immediately. There's a little bit of flickering going on there, but no joke, it actually kicked on way mo faster. So I think I am going to put this back together and see what actually happens and see if I can get a picture out of this thing. But, uh, wow, all glory to haul, y'all. That may be resolved for a little while. Who knows how long that board's going to last, you know. But, uh, man, that is just rather nifty. Okay, catch y'all here directly. The television is back together, albeit with a little weight reduction. You know, got to get that horsey power. Let's find out what happens now. Check it out. Screen popped up. Ready to rock and roll. Now, just to connect some signal. So, hallelujah, 
all glory to all y'all for revealing that to me and allowing me to swap those bits out and get this television up and rolling again. It's a little dark, of course, I've got to set the backlight setting and all that jazz. I don't know. Let's go ahead and check that out. Menu. Backlight is on zero from previous setting. And there you have it. Bam. Done. Hit enter on that. Exit on out of there. I Like I said, I'm no elect, electronic repairman. That's all glory to the Lord for revealing how to get all that fixed up and providing the necessary components. So there you go, peeps. I wasn't even praying on that. I just, I don't know. It was all provided. And so I'm grateful to be able to show y'all that things can be repaired even when they're a little bit older. So, hallelujah. Again, all praise to Haya. Go fix things, peeps. I'm out of here. Shalom.